Hi everybody, welcome to Tech Growth Talks channel. Today I present you a new episode. Specifically, I will give you five tech momentum stocks. So these stocks have excellent momentum and they are in the tech space and they have good growth as well. So I think it definitely pays to watch this video until the end with me and have a look at all of these stocks. So before I start right off with the first tech momentum stock, I have to make a short disclaimer. This video does not constitute financial advice. It's for entertainment purposes only. So please consider that. And also one more quick note, please subscribe now to my channel with the link in the description below so that going forward, you do not miss any market leading stocks from me. So please subscribe now. Okay, everybody. So that was it for the intro. So let's start right off with the first tech momentum stock for 2021. And it is, it's loading. And it is TSLA, Tesla. I mean, Tesla has been a favorable momentum candidate over the last one year or a little bit longer than one year. It had an exorbit orbitant performance. So this is ex definitely one of the best momentum plays at the moment. Here you can see on the left, you can see the longer term chart of Tesla. And as you can see, for quite some time, we have been moving sideways and until around um this was a sideways move here until around december 2019 where we could break out of that sideways phase and form a way nice and strong uptrend in the short term chart here you see that uptrend and here you can see as well we had a base building phase from end of august until uh, November 18, where we broke out of that sideways base building phase. Uh, base is a period of pause in, a, in an uptrend. And um, so in general, it makes sense to buy when we break out of a base and the stock is in an uptrend. And th exactly that happened here on October, uh, on no, sorry, on November 18th. We broke out of that base above these highs here and traded very strongly to the upside with very strong momentum going on. And I mean, I covered the Tesla also when we were um, trading around here, around these levels, 430. And um, yeah, and now we are at 800. So, I mean, if you would have bought it, it would have been a gain of 100% since uh, since the mid of November. So for two months, a quite nice gain. And also in below this video, I have some links to my strategies where you can follow the performances. For, and um, you can see Tesla has been a holding in one of these strategies. And I'm up in that strategy around 100% in Tesla. Yeah, and as said, in Tesla, we had a way strong move since mid of November, and now we are trading here at the highs. So from a momentum perspective, Tesla is looking excellent. And also when we look at the growth, the EPS growth is not the strongest. It's minus 12%, but the sales growth is good with 17%. And the relative strength rating is excellent with 98%. And Tesla is in a hot sector in the vehicles and EV sector, which has been a leading sector over the last 12 months with very strong performances in many of these EV stocks and um, electric uh, battery stocks. So I think Tesla is definitely a way strong tech momentum stock for 2021. Okay, everybody. So that was it for the first tag momentum stock. Now let's have a look at the next stock and it is MRNA Moderna. Here you can see the longer term chart of Moderna. And as you can see, Moderna is a quite young company. Moderna had its IPO in December, 2018. So from a, from the IPO age, it's just, um, older than, um, more a little bit more than two years which is quite so it's quite a young company and why does that matter because 
um, the, the super performance phases on average for 95% of the stocks is in their first 10 years after, the, after their IPOs. So note that, yeah. So they have their super performance phases, most stocks in their first 10 years after their IPOs. So we definitely have to look at these young companies because when they have good growth characteristics and the growth is coming in form of sales or um, EPS growth, these and they are breaking out and having a strong uptrend and so you could have a way strong gains in these stocks so it definitely pays to always be on the lookout for young innovative high growth flying names and th this is my channel all about so if you are interested in these stocks please subscribe now and um, look for me from time to time at the young companies for instance, I have the Tech IPO stock series where I release the specifically focused on young companies, the best stocks in the market as of these days, as of now. So, and soon there will be coming up a new Tech IPO stock series for 2021. So, um, if you want to look that, you should definitely look from time to time on my channel and watch out for these videos. Now let's have a look here at the long-term chart. And as you can see, after its IPO in December 2018, we formed the nice IPO base here in Moderna. And then we could break out of that IPO base around March 2020, form a nice and very strong uptrend. The short-term chart here, you see a base building phase, a, a period of pause in the uptrend. And we could break out of that period of pause on November 11th, strongly and trade way strong to the upside and i covered this stock as well in november and you could i um said yeah it's a way strong tech momentum stock around these levels 75 yeah 75 78 dollar and as you can see if you would have bought it i mean you would have been up more than 100 percent in just a couple of days yeah we, we traded from 78 dollars just about this time the um the the test results of the moderna was seen were published um and then the the stock just took off i mean you see from 78 we traded up to 176 or 77 yeah and now we reversed and i think now when we see that in the short term chart we just traded here off the lows i think soon there could be an exciting entry point coming especially if we would trend here around here a little bit and then break out that would be excellent or well we could also trade again and test the lows again but i think we will find a bottom here i think this will be an excellent year for moderna with all these vaccines um, rolling out and um, so i think it will have excellent sales growth and also it will translate to excellent eps growth and I think that will um, mark the future for Moderna with its mRNA technology. I think that will it will have an excellent future because I think it can bank on all these profits it's making this year and can use it for future mRNA investments. And I think that will be a way strong uh, biotech company going forward. Yeah. And if we look at the growth characteristics, Moderna, the EPS growth is good with 18%. The sales growth is super excellent with 617%. And the relative strength rating is also way good with 97 And Moderna is a hot biotech stock. So I think it definitely makes sense. And um, I think it's definitely a strong tech momentum stock for 2021. Okay, everybody, so now let's have a look at the next tech momentum stock, and it is PTON, Peloton Interactive. And as you can see, Peloton, here in the long-term chart, you can see, was an IPO in September 2019, so it's a quite young company, exactly what we are looking for. So it's in the first 10 years of the, after their IPO, and um, it's very still way young so i think it definitely could have some potential after its ipo it formed a nice ipo base here and it could break out of that ipo base around may 4th uh, 
2020 and form a nice and very really strong uptrend. The short term chart, you see an uptrend here, and you see as well here a period of pause, so a base building period, and we could break out of that base around um, December 14th, trade strongly to the upside, and now we are building here a mini base on top of a base or a high handle, I would call it. And yeah, one more quick note. I mean, I covered that stock as well. I bought it around these levels and I sold it early, but I think it's still looking great. Um, and yeah, so this stock had also a very strong performance and was also in my tech momentum strategy where the link is below in the description where you can have a look at the performance if you are interested. And this strategy, the tech momentum stocks strategy, had a very good run around start of November until now. It had like a performance of 40%, which is quite nicely. Um, so I think this year will be excellent for that strategy as well. Yeah, the Peloton's growth characteristics are way excellent. The PS growth is super strong with 2360%. The sales growth is also way strong with 202%. And the relative strength rating is very good with 96. And Peloton is in, a, in the leisure space with its fitness app. And I think its fitness app is a strong market position. And I think it's here to stay. So I think Peloton is definitely a strong mo tech momentum stock for 2021. Okay, everybody. So that was it for Peloton. And now let's have a look at the next tech momentum stock. And it is. ZM Zoom Video Communications. Here you can see the longer term chart of Zoom Video Communication. And as you can see as well, it's a recent IPO. Its IPO date was in April 2019. After its IPO, it formed a nice IPO base here. And it could break out of that IPO base uh, around, Feb around uh, let's say, March 2020 and form a nice and very strong uptrend since then. The short term chart here you see since around 1st of September we have been base building or we have, we have been experiencing a period of pause in Zoom video in its uptrend. And yeah, recently we came back here quite strongly in Zoom video and now it looks like we are finding a bottom here. I think soon we will find a bottom here. I mean, as you can see, this was a nice shakeout for these lows. So I think we just shook off um, quite some weak holders. And I think maybe sooner, sooner or later, I think we could continue the uptrend in Zoom video, especially if you consider the growth characteristics. Um, this is one reason for that. Um, the EPS course is way strong with 5,050%. The sales course is also way strong with 361%. And the relative strength rating is excellent with 96. And Zoom Video is in a hot sector in the communication services space. And I think with its video communications platform, I think it's an excellent candidate for future growth because I think in the future there will be less business travel and overall less travel and more the need for video communications. And I think Zoom Video can bank on this. And um, I, think, I think this pullback this pullback or correction in Zoom video is definitely a strong buying opportunity. And I think soon we will continue the growth path or the momentum path to the upside. And then we will have, I think, strong gains. And I think you could quickly see 50% uh, fifty percent to the upside move in Zoom video, which would be, I think, quite nice. Um, I think a quite nice profit. But of course, nothing is without risk and I cannot see into the future the stock could also decline. Okay, so Zoom Video is an excellent tag momentum stock. Now let's have a look at the next tag momentum stock and this is the last stock for today. And it is CRWD CrowdStrike. Here you can see the longer term chart of CrowdStrike and as you can see CrowdStrike has been a recent IPO in June 2019. After its IPO it formed a nice IPO base here. 
we could break out of that IPO base around April 2020 and trade strongly to the upside and form a nice and very strong uptrend since then. The short term chart here you see a, a base building phase which is a period of pause in this uptrend here. Here it is, this uptrend and after that base you can see we broke out strongly out of that base and traded strongly to the upside and now we are building here a short term base so a short term period of pause and I think soon we could uh, continue the uptrend in CrowdStrike. CrowdStrike's growth characteristics, the EPS growth is not the strongest, it's minus 50%, but the sales growth is way strong with 85% and the relative strength rating is also way good with 94 and CrowdStrike is in a hot sector and the tech software sector which has been a leading sector for quite some years now. So I think CrowdStrike is definitely a strong tech momentum stock for 2021. Okay, so these were the tech momentum stocks for 2021 for today. I hope there are some nice stocks in that video for you, which you can use for doing your research and Please subscribe now to my channel with the link in the description below so that going forward you do not miss any market leading stocks from me. So please subscribe now. My goal on this channel is to bring you the best momentum, tech, growth and IPO stocks. So why not subscribe and look from time to time on my channel after the videos so that you because they are the best stocks and um, definitely pays, as you saw today, with these stocks, some had very strong performances. And if you are interested in the performances of my strategies, have a look on my channel with the link in the description uh, below that video. Um, yeah, there are all the strategies performances. Okay, so thank you for watching that video and I hope to see you again soon in the future. Cheers.